So video editing might be one of the most valuable assets a YouTuber can have in terms of their skill set, and it can also be one of the hardest skills to master. So that's why I'm going to be showing you how you can actually start editing your very own YouTube video. As a 100% brand new beginner, you've never touched an editing software, this video is for you. And the best part about all this, I'm going to be showing you how to do it in a 100% free software. So you don't have to go out and download and buy all these subscriptions. Literally, you can download it, try it. If you don't like it, you can delete it. And if you enjoy it, then you can just keep on doing it for free. There's literally no downside of trying it out and experiment but if you guys do enjoy you want to support me make sure to like comment subscribe it helps me out a lot the links to everything that you need will be at the top of the description so make sure to go check that out but with all that being said let's get right into the video so first of all i'm just going to show you how you can install the editing software davinci resolve so you're going to go to your browser and you're just going to search up davinci resolve download you'll go to davinci resolve 18 right here the link will also be at the top of the description and then from there you're going to come down here to free download click on windows or mac depending on what you're on then from there what i would do is i'd fill all this out and i would press register and download i'm not going to click on that because i know i have autofill with like my address so i'm not going to leak that in this video but that's pretty much how you download it now once it's downloaded you guys will see it on your desktop or on your little bar right here so all i'm going to do is i'm just going to open it up and let me quickly explain how this video is going to be structured i'm going to have this video structured into three different parts we're going to go over the pre-edit process so that's going to be cutting syncing audio using the inspector tool for scaling, positioning, all that stuff, audio adjustments. Then from there, we're gonna move into more editing stuff with light, beginner oriented type of effects and then finally we're going to go into post-production such as color adjustment and then finally rendering that final video so once we actually have davinci resolve open we're going to go here to new project we're just going to name this sam sample beginner and just like that we're in davinci resolve so you guys will notice inside of davinci resolve we have all this space here but we also have this little toolbar on the bottom so i'm going to go through each tab individually just kind of briefly explain what these are so media tab allows for you to in drag in all your media and adjust settings on it cut allows for you to cut stuff easily edit this is going to be your main tab literally one of the only tabs are going to be in today fusion tab we might do some slight effect stuff in there color tab we'll be adjusting color in fair light we will not be using but that's for audio then deliver that is for rendering so starting off we're going to go to the edit tab we're going to go up here to file we're going to go to project settings and we're going to actually initialize those first settings for the project so we're going to make sure we change our frame rate to 60 and we're going to make sure our resolution is on 1920 by 1080 if for some reason your default is something different click on this drop down go to 1920 by 1080 and you should be good to go from there i'm going to press save and i already did that and we're good to go so let's actually find our footage so for example i'm just gonna find a random video for example let's just starting off we're gonna just find our footage i'm just gonna find a random clip right here so let's just say this for example we can see we're just gonna drag it into the media pool once you have footage in the media pool it's gonna look a little something like this we can preview it by double clicking on it that's how you actually activate the preview and we can watch the video through and to actually get it in our timeline we're literally just gonna click on it hold drag and drag it in our timeline here now the cool thing about davinci that you guys can see right off the bat is that it does automatically include waveform so this is super awesome if you are focusing on audio based editing sound effects all that stuff it's super crucial and i am a big fan of this feature so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be focusing on how to utilize the cutting tool or the blade tool i should say and the blade tool is along this toolbar of different tools and that can be activated by pressing b on our keyboard so we're going to just press b activate our blade tool and we can see that the little icon in the middle of the screen has changed to a blade so what we're going to do is we're going to come through our video here and if we click on the layer while having the blade tool activated it will split that layer at that point and this could be utilized to cut out dead space errors literally anything that you don't want in that final version of your video and that's literally that so what i'll do initially when i make a video is i will come through i'll utilize the blade tool and I'll cut out little sections where I mess up. So I'll literally do that, click on it, backspace, click on it, backspace, which is delete. And then I'll connect all these together. Now, what you would literally do this throughout the entire video, make sure there are no errors. And that's literally the easiest way you can do that. So that's literally the number one process. So that's literally the number one step in my process and how I edit my stuff. And now let me quickly go over these individual adjustments that you can make in the top right corner. Like you guys can see, there's so many numbers over here. Trust me, it might be a little overwhelming. I know, but you can easily um, get used to these. So let me quickly show you guys how you use them. So starting off, if you don't have this up here, you have 
two previews maybe. Click on inspector. That's how you pop up this window here. And we can see there's a lot of settings to unpack here. So just bear with me, I'll get through all of them. Starting off, we wanna make sure that we click on the layer that we wanna adjust. And we have our zoom. This is gonna allow for us to zoom into the video itself. So if you wanted to scale in, maybe make our face a lot closer. If we wanted to zoom it out for some reason, we can do that. And you can also utilize keyframes like in any other software by clicking on this button to add a keyframe. If you guys want to actually learn how to do that, you after you understand how to do this, go check out my advanced video. I'll have that in the description. But that's pretty much how to do that. And you can unlink them and change your X scale, change your Y scale, compress your face, whatever you want. Now moving on, we got position. So position X will move it left to right. Position Y, move it up and down. Super simple. Rotation, will rotate it obviously. Anchor point, will change the anchor point. So this is actually interesting. So if we zoom, in, but we change the anchor point, this is the point that we're going to be zooming into. So if we zoom out, we can change the video here, but that anchor point, since we adjusted it to this left side, it's going to zoom in when we scale it in. So it's hard to explain what the anchor point actually means until you understand like an editing term necessarily that. Pitch will allow us to change the perspective of it so we can make my head super big if we want to. I don't know why you'd want to do that. And then YAW is like left to right, if that makes sense. Now we can also mirror it left to right, up, down, whatever you want to do. And that's literally how you play around with those controls. Now, cropping is also a cool, useful tool. You can use these to just drag these sliders and crop the video top, bottom, left, right. And opacity is also one, which is pretty much if we have 50%, that's 50% opacity, which means if you imagine the video fully showing be 100% and the video being invisible being 0%, 50% is almost like, I don't even know how to describe it. If you understand opacity, you understand opacity. I don't even know how to describe it, but that's pretty much that. And all the other stuff um, I cover in my advanced tutorial, so go check that out if you want to learn more. But that is the video side of things. Now the audio side of things, super easy. Uh, volume, you can adjust. We can see the waveforms for that got corrected versus if we go into the negatives, they become invisible. Panning will go from left to right in our ears and then pitching we'll just change it to higher pitch lower pitch all that stuff that's how you use the inspector tab and that is the pre-editing process now once i'm actually inside of my videos i'll utilize different effects such as zoom so i'll quickly show you how you do a little slow zoom i know i said i'd show keyframes in my other tutorial but i'll quickly show it in this tutorial so let's imagine we have our video from here to here and we want our slow zoom to last from this point to this point we're gonna have two keyframes we're gonna have one at the beginning we're gonna have one at the very end of where we want the effect so at the beginning obviously we want it to be one which is just our starting point and at the end we're gonna change this value to 1.1 and after we've changed the value we want to make sure that we click on this dot and then navigate over here now what we can see just because this segment is so long let me quickly show you with a shorter example what this would end up looking like if we changed it it's a lot faster and that's our little zoom right there. That's how you do a zoom effect. I'm gonna show you two more effects. I'm gonna show you how to add a glow and then I'm gonna quickly show you subtitles and drop shadows. So what we're gonna be doing for this is we are in our fusion tab and this is our fourth tab right down here. We're gonna press control and space on our keyboard at the same time. We're gonna search up glow, pop option right here. We're gonna press add and we can either press shift on our keyboard, drag it in or we can actually connect it like this, actually affect our video. Now from there, we can adjust our glow size, the glow intensity itself all that stuff but that's something that you can utilize when you are making video now moving on to subtitles super easy this is on your effects library tabs so if you don't have this tab click up here to in effects it'll pop this up you could just drag a text over change it to literally whatever you want this involves some experimenting with um i've made a tutorial on subtitles so go watch if you want to watch a uh, subtitle tutorial specifically but drop shadow is another effect that you can use we can literally see there is a drop shadow on it and that is pretty much that so let's move on to the post-production side of things now post-production this involves you know color correcting making sure the audio is good level so if we come through here so the audio honestly looks fine so we don't have to worry about that now moving on to the color correcting we're gonna get into that so we can see that this video is it's good color it's it's not like it's too gray it's not you know too offset there's not high exposure on my face we don't have to correct anything like that but I it is a little undersaturated so I'm gonna show you how I adjust that for my own videos so my camera actually actually shoot slightly grayer and more black and white that I want it to be if that makes sense saturation is the scale of color on your videos so for example let me quickly show on the screen this is default saturation and if I increase the saturation this is the difference that it makes normally what I do there's a little bar here and we can see as we adjust it, it goes from black and white to all the way like this super orangey look but what I do as the default value is 50 we can see that makes a big difference I change it to 70 so you can see the difference that, that makes it literally adds color to my face and it just makes the video look a lot more healthy 
if that makes sense. Uh, I don't know how to describe it in a way that makes sense to you guys. Don't edit, but you know, it just looks a lot more organic compared to something, you know, like this. This looks super plain and boring and not energetic. Like it, it just adds a vibe to the video. If we just come through here, we change the saturation value all throughout to 70. And you know, if there are other aspects, we want to add more contrast, which is more intensity to those darker colors and more intensity to those lighter colors. You could do that. Now moving on to the deliver tab. This is the sixth and final tab. Uh, once you have your final product ready and you want to render it out you go over here you change it to you know final product i just made my first edit or something like that you go to browse you change it to whatever folder you want it to go to so you go save you go to your bit rate i normally do 100,000, so one zero 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 and then from there add it to render queue you press render you let it go through and do its thing and uh it'll give you progress updates on how long taking how many frames it's rendering per second and a percentage little thing but that is how you export it after you've absolutely done everything and after that you should have your very own youtube video edited for the first time but if you guys did enjoy you learned something make sure to like comment subscribe i'm gonna have some free presets down below for you guys to utilize if you guys know how to use presets in davinci resolve if you don't i have a tutorial link down below as well just go check out those free presets they're amazing i also have my five dollar editing pack in the description if you guys want to check that out as well but if you guys did enjoy like comment subscribe i will see you guys in a new video on the channel though see you later